I do folks, how you doing? Just a quick one. I've um, done one video today updating my health and I uh, decided while I was doing the video to go into the protocol separately so it can stand alone as a very very short video for everybody to uh, to see and, and look into for themselves. Heart disease, can you cure it? I seem to be doing. I'm following Dr. Well, doctor is a scientist, one of the world's most accredited scientists, Linus Pauling. Uh, Linus, it could be Linus, that's the way I pronounce it, that's the way I've heard it. I've heard somebody pronounce it another way. But by the by, a, uh, a very important special man is very well worth the research. Anybody with a heart condition really should be looking for Linus Pauling's uh, protocol on uh, curing heart disease. He doesn't talk about maintaining it, he doesn't talk about making you a little bit better, he talks about curing heart disease through, with, with basic things, we're talking vitamins and amino acids. Uh, so basically, I, uh, I've had a bit of a ramble on my other video explaining, uh, giving a bit of an update on, on how I'm doing. So I wanted to go into what it is exactly I'm taking. I would tell anybody who is interested in looking at this to do your own due diligence. That's not a cover my arse waiver. That is know what you are doing. If you're going to start stuffing something into you, know what it is and that goes with pharmaceuticals from bloody doctors read the read not only the ingredients but cross-reference them and find out what they are because usually they've got two names or three names or four names because they don't want you to know what it really is and research what that should be doing to a human body should it be inside the, the body um, you'll find out a lot of the chemicals within pharmaceuticals should not be under any circumstances being any any form of ingestion by man or woman should never happen so anyway what I'm doing um, after a lot of research and a lot of due diligence I take 6,000 milligrams of vitamin C per day yes it sounds a shitload the government's guidelines would be 2,000 milligrams is the maximum you can have in your body and at the same time if you if you look up the consequences of overdosing uh, on vitamin C, uh, you may get the shits, you may get stomach cramp. <laughs> it's a vitamin. Your body will only take as much as it needs and it will dispose of the rest. Uh, you cannot, cannot under any circumstances harm yourself from what I've found. And if anybody can find anything different, please show me. Um, vitamin C it cannot be done so that's what I take your body can't retain it so it's a case of take a tablet throughout the day but or you get it in powder form put it in a drink do whatever you do it pure 100% vitamin C so uh, that's that's half of the protocol the other half of the protocol is lysine lysine is an amino acid exactly the same situation you cannot do yourself harm with lysine from what I have found um, do your own research look into all this I personally take 3,000 milligrams of that you can boost it up higher but I, I thought 3,000 milligrams is plenty of lysine after doing my research and from what uh, my other video will tell you after an angiogram what the doctors say the, is happening inside my arteries 3,000 milligrams is more than adequate uh, so I'm really happy with the protocol but that is the protocol dead easy 6,000 milligrams of uh, lysine and uh, 6,000 milligrams of vitamin C and 3,000 milligrams of lysine per day spread out through the day and uh, no big deal nothing else needed uh, that will clean out your arteries the lysine actually strips the arteries of the uh, calcium deposits the buildups which causes all the issues um, that is uh, a very very slow process obviously it can't be quick because otherwise it would give you a bloody stroke the vitamin C it strengthens your heart but also uh, what you find when you look into his protocol it's the vitamin C deficiency which is causing the problems the uh, it 
the lack of vitamin C in the blood creates something, you can look into this, I can't remember the actual word of it, it creates something that's it's like scratching the inside of your arteries uh, as your blood's going by and your body then produces LDLA, which is the quiet one they don't want to talk about, um, which is what builds the calcium deposits on your, on your actual arteries. So uh, as you're not getting any vitamin C in your food, it's been removed from a diet. Uh, this is a case of many, many people are suffering this and without even knowing yet, it's happening. Uh, LDLA is being produced. It's scuffing up your, or it's, it's building up on the scuffs of your arteries uh, as a plaque formation. And because you're constantly deficient in vitamin C, it's an ongoing process. So eventually it's filling your arteries, isn't it? And eventually you have a heart condition. Um, I've told my own sons to start taking lysine and vitamin C as part of a daily routine thing anyway, not in high dosages, the dosages I'm talking about are for curing, not for maintenance, that's a curing protocol, but I would certainly take 500 milligram to up to 1000 of vitamin C a day anyway, knowing that we're not getting it in our food and we are all deficient in it, and I would take... Uh, maybe a, a thousand milligram tablet of of lysine a day or even a 500 milligram um, just as a, a maintenance if i didn't have a problem i would urge anybody to look into uh, vitamin d uh, c deficiency we're deficient in a lot of things but vitamin c is a very very important one that that does need addressing uh, and that is a fantastic way of addressing it according to dr linus powling and myself <laughs> My cardiologist can confirm the results, but he won't he won't vouch for Linus. <laughs> they don't like that. They don't like it. But anyway, Linus Powling Protocol. I have huge respect uh for for his work and, and he's he's issued many, many papers on many, many things. Lots of uh folk have copied his work, um doctors included. They won't go on the uh, on the medical record with it, um, but if you go check it out, you will find doctors that are using that protocol. Uh, mainstream never will because they don't want you cured. Uh, they want a customer for life and they want to control your demise. They don't want to, uh, to make you better. They never go to fix you. Ask any doctor if this will heal you when they offer you something. Anyway, Dr. Linus Powling. I'll say it one more time. Check him out. Check out his research on all things, but most certainly heart condition. Curing. <laughs> Bye all.